Hey everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Blue Sun Rising. In the last episode, we got a bunch of stuff exported. We imported a bunch of stuff. We're still running critically low on machine parts. And uh, we actually uh, need to turn this building back on to start getting some more uh, people working in here. We have plenty of housing still available. And let's see, we are... Right, Hyperion 2 is exporting stuff. But I'm actually going to buy a rocket now because I got the cash for it. But I'm not going to buy it until I... Now, the outsourcing is almost done. Let's do, double up on that. We finally have the MDSs almost, almost online. I do this goal, frictionless composites. I think I want to lock down what I'm going to research in this episode, or in the next few episodes at least. MDSs, drone printing, frictionless composites to give extra power from the wind turbines, forever young, and plasma cutters to get some more extractor power out of these guys. Yes, we are running very, very low on machine parts. Also running slightly low on water. Um, that deposit is actually running out, so we actually throw a pause in here. See where we can go and get some water. There's plenty of water over here. There's also a bit over here, which I might be able to just go get. That's not too far space to span, but we're, again, running low on machine parts. We need about 30 of them. Just to get over to there. Once we get those machine parts, we're in shape. Uh, the rare metals extractors are not operational due to the lack of said machine parts. Well, let's uh, keep this game going. Hyperion 2 is almost back to Earth. I'll probably have him bring down another load of machine parts. And then hopefully we can get this guy uh, going. What does this dome need? Gambling, Funding social, received. playing. I could drop a casino in functionality. I don't have any casinos here yet. Um, I, oof, oof, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Um, I'd rather have some electronics left over. An electronics store would be nice, but again, that takes I'm the electronics up. Hey. <gasps> this is it! This is the mystery we get this time, the power of three. A routine scan of the perimeter has detected an unidentified object within immediate proximity of the colony. Data logs confirm it. The it isn't a glitch. The mysterious object appears to a colonist of a pitch black cubes arranged in a matrix. The cubes seemingly levitate above the ground without the aid of any support structure. Preliminary image analysis remains inconclusive. An on-site investigation is required to assess the no anomaly. We advise caution. A black cube has appeared seemingly out of nowhere. We have to investigate this anomaly. Yay. I haven't done this mystery yet. It's right there. Um, I'm going to leave it there for now. Obviously, we don't need to go get it at the moment. Because we have other things uh, we're trying to get our hands on. Um, let's buy a rocket, because we can afford it. Damn. Um, yeah, guess we're going that route. And we also have a... And we don't have a tunnel complex under construction yet, but we are going to build a tunnel to get up to the ridge. To get up there. So that's... I mean, there's a lot of research up there available that I'd like to get my hands on. But without those machine parts, I'd rather keep the rare metals refineries operational... And go for that. Meteor Storm's finally wrapping up, thank god. We have a polymer factory not working. Ugh. I think we're gonna need to bring some more people down. Uh, let's see. 52 rare metals, we should be able to fill up quick. Uh, fuel is... lacking right now, actually. Somewhat disappointed on that. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Alright, we really need to get up there. Oh, that one's being scanned right now. Okay. And we do have two shuttle hubs that are ready to go, and I'm going to just uh, crack open my beer real quick. There we go. Might as well, since I'm here. Just nice and relax. Yeah, we're... That, oh... Okay, so this deposit is now gone, but we still, because of the nano, uh... Pressure cables, 
nano refinement. So the nano refinement still works for the water, but we really do need to now get that new tunnel system going. I can put it right there. Oops. We'll just put it right there. The machine parts that are coming in on Hyperion 2, they'll bring in some more for us, but the concrete and the metals that we already have on site, they're going to be delivered to the site right away, and hopefully we'll get that taken care of. And Hyperion 1's already on his way back to Earth. And where are you? Okay, you're here. Good. Wow, all my rare metals extractors are non-operational. Lovely. Alright, so, uh, yeah. We just need the rare metals, or the machine parts going here. Research complete. Alright! So I can afford three. Because I have 17 right now. Um, where's general training? Okay. I know I said this is what I wanted to, like, go with, but I think I need to do general training to get people to actually work a little better in these things. It's becoming an issue. We have MU. I'm actually going to open this up. We're getting a lot of engineers, which is good. In fact, no. Leave that off. I need people working for a shift. What's our water situation like? We have 750 water stored in the colony. It'll last for a little bit. Resources are low. Yeah, no kidding. Because we've got 20 in... 22 now in this site. Alright. I got a feeling I'm about to order another load. Hmm... Get this one going. There we go. Okay. We're going to get this one operational. You. Back up. You got work to do. Sector scanned. I'm going to drop down a... Universal Depot here. And we'll pipe out to get... These three operational. Get a drone hub going. And we'll start supporting that. Uh, get in. All right, you're ready to go? Get out. Don't need fuel, don't need food. Don't need rare metals. We're going to need the concrete, though. I know we're going to need the concrete. All right, uh, piping. I'm not really concerned about this concrete deposit, but I can build around it if I wish. Funding received. Let's do that. All right, and we're going to build a hub here. Wow. Wow. It's going to be so unnecessary for all the stuff that we're going to need for it. We'll put it right in the middle. And hopefully the shuttles will bring what we need. 13,000, 10,000. We'll go for the 13k first. I'm going to hook three up there. We'll just cable right along that. So once the hub is operational, they'll start working on the extractors, and I could even just drop an extractor down to build all this, if needed. Come on, two metals. That's all we need. There we go. Alright. You guys are done here. Head out. Send him over there. Now these guys will discontinue. Um, I don't think we need polymers over here, actually. They can pull that out. We do need the electronics. Sector's we need the machine down. parts. Concrete really don't need. The metals we do need. Yep, once we get uh, six machine parts, our water problem should 
start to dissipate. And once those two rockets return to Earth, we'll have plenty of money. We can order another load of machine parts, or hell, maybe even another load of colonists. You know what? Colonists. That's actually what we need to do. Let's bring some folks down. Um, plenty of colonists, but some of them have flaws. That's the only way we're actually going to get them at this point. Alright. Um, gluttons. I don't want to deal with the uh, double food rations. Definitely don't want idiots up here. Loners are not going to be helpful. Um, I'll allow melancholic. Oh, oh, that's right. We get 22 now on the rocket, so... Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'm okay uh, allowing that. Jeez. Um. Yeah, we got medical buildings. We can also address a lot of those when we get sanatoriums operational. But we have an unemployed person. What? Oh, no, there they go. They're fine. I admit, as I'm recording this episode, I'm finally trying out a new chair I bought off of Amazon. It was a pain in the ass just to get a replacement from it. Research complete. The company was a, Funding received. a pain in my ass about it. Alright. So, how many kids do we have on Mars now? Ten children, seven youths. So we have enough. Right there. But now with the general training... So uh, they're only losing four. Uh, 40 instead of 50. On that, so a little bit better uh, situation right now. That way. Where's the vacant slots? We have about 12 there, 6 there, 25 here. Are we doing that right? Yeah, I think I am. Uh, yeah, we are running low on water. Hopefully we're going to get that uh, adjusted here with the uh, new machine parts. Hopefully we're going to get some more machine scan. parts. Alright. You. Doing that at all factories, we need... We desperately need more machine parts produced. And the fact that we're not able to sustain ourselves with machine parts is a bit of a concern for me. And I'm going to take out the wheat, so we're going to be just producing the uh, soybeans and potatoes here. And the soybeans and potatoes here. We have plenty of food, but note. Just, uh... One person. And I'm going to turn that down. I'm actually going to switch that off. Keep those people working on, uh, from working on the night shift unless they absolutely have to. What else do I want to talk about this episode? Oh, yes. Um, there's a new game coming out. Um, the week of October 26th. Uh, October 26th, I believe, is the actual release date. It's a small game from this indie developer. It's called Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm thinking about actually doing a bit of a playthrough on the channel. Uh, I do remember playing the first Red Dead Redemption. I did not play Red Dead Revolver when that game came out, but I would absolutely love to uh, play that and do a little bit of a uh, playthrough on the channel. Um, with that, I'll most likely be putting some videos out in the afternoons on the channel. I'm still planning to do Surviving Mars as the mainstay uh, for this channel. Maybe uh, associating some Red Dead into it would be kind of nice. And I think that's uh, I think sort of where the channel is going to be going. We're going to start mixing in some more stuff to kind of draw on a little bit of a wider audience. Because as it is right now, we have a pretty good audience base, I think, um, from the fans of New Surviving Mars, the Command and Conquer fans out there, Star Victor Realms, uh, Empire at War, Republic at War. We have a little bit of a fan base on the channel, and I'd like to continue to grow it. Uh, looking at what I've got right now, I need another fuel refinery. Get that going. I want to build another one of these guys, and probably actually I'm going to build a fourth one. Because we have ro so many rockets coming back, I think we're, the limiting so resource is now fuel. Still waiting on machine parts here, and we're running out of water fast. Funding received. Yeah, money. 
The drone printing is now available to us, which is great because we can actually start manufacturing more drones to have on the planet. Because right now we only have eight here, six there. Where's this one here? Six there. We don't have a lot of drones. A lot of them were destroyed during our uh, our homage to Mr. Michael Bay. Do we have any up here? I'm tempted to bring the rocket down over here. Oh. The mysterious cubes continue to appear across the colony. Mission Control advises all personnel to remain calm and stick to protocol. The cube structures tend to emerge without warning, as unscientific as it may sound, out of thin air. Apart from their evident presence, so far the structures pose no threat to the colony. Until further investigation, the Scientific Board of Mission Control has decided to impose an information blackout on the matter to prevent the spread of panic and fear amongst the colonists. Note, if you live in this dome, you can- holy crap, wow, there are a few of them out there. Interesting. Alright, I think we gotta come- I think we gotta come take a look at it. But my main concern right now is- There's a video I was running on sfdebris.com. That was a review for uh, Next Generation's Tin Man. I was actually pulling up a, uh, pulling something up here. Alright, for the love of God, can we please get some machine parts here? We're gonna run into a serious problem very soon. And it might be uh, related to that rocket. Why don't we drop him down over here? It should be fine, right? I can't put him here because we have the uh, route going. And we'll just put him down there. Yes. So we have Hyperion 2. We have Hyperion 18. Didn't realize that that was a... Uh... Where are you going? Oh, that's the Explorer. I thought it was uh, the Commander. Resources are low. Yeah, no kidding. Get those. Oh, w oh, wow. I didn't realize that bringing that down, apparently they just contaminated everything. My bad. Okay, seriously. Bring them over here. I'm going to scan this. Figure out what's going on. Sector scanned. I'm kind of hoping that this thing doesn't like cause problems. Okay, we are running an oh deficit on power now, but thankfully we actually have a decent amount of power stored up in the colony. Can we please? Anomaly oh, analyzed. thank God, we actually have water now. On-site analysis of the unidentified structure only deepens the mystery. The evidence suggests that the cubes are clearly not a natural phenomenon. The insides of the cubes, as well as the physical forces behind their levitation, remain an enigma. Individual cubes, as well as their combined structure, retain a perfect symmetry, and any attempts to physically disturb the positions have failed. What is even more puzzling is the analysis of the photonic spectroscopy of the cubes. They seem to emanate radiation of an unknown wavelength, which excites the separation of electrons inside the spectropic lens. Spectroscopic lens. I'm going to get there on that one. While our science team refuses to jump to any conclusions, the chief engineer suggests that we should study the effect empirically on the colony's solar panels. The science team requested permission to commence experimental research on the cube's properties. Effect: new mystery, new research on the mystery of the wax cubes is now available. For now, I'm going to get you away from them. I don't know what they do, but I just kind of want to get away from them. All right, uh, you are ready to go. And everything's dusty again. Oh, whoa! Holy crap! Yeah, I'm never bringing these down when they're not on a launch pad again. 
That's a lot of metals I just had to flush down the toilet. Wowza. Alright. Water. Um, thank you, save state. Uh, we're going to start getting some more water up. I'm going to start putting down some more solar or water tanks. I'm also going to start throwing down some MDSs to keep the uh, colony from, you know, dying. All right. Now that we have some protection. Giggity. We'll do that one here. It's not going to cover the entire dome, but I could easily put something on the other end of the dome to make it fit. I'm going to go here. I'm going to cover part of the wind farm, but not all of it. I want to make sure that the uh, those guys are protected as much as possible. Looks like I can just drop one here. That's helpful. Funding received. Alright. So we are pretty low on electronics, and as much as I'd like to have that going... Just not a thing. Okay. Good. Don't want them overloading that site. Alright, hey, hey, are you ready to not screw up things? Yeah, he screwed up. Alright. I want to send him off up here to some unknown region. We got plenty of rare metals down here, which is great. Unfortunately, keeping 10 machine parts down there is very difficult right now. We hopefully will have more fuel to keep things moving. Alright, research wise, um, I right, do want to get frictionless composites going. Dark spectrometer. Spectrometry. Spectro. Spectrometry. Man, my English is not so good. Keep doing. Let's keep outsourcing that research. Sector scanned. Got no resources there. We have three. Wow, look at that. Three vacant residential slots. We're doing good, I think. People of functionality, how can I help you today? Missing shopping, missing luxury. Uh, we could build an art store in this dome, and I think it'd be fine. So let's build an art store. Let's uh, make the colonists hell happy. We can't hide the truth from the public. Not when the colony's being swarmed by black cubes. Without any credible explanation, the colony was soon flooded with various rumors and interpretations of the mystery. What if they're bombs? Billions of tiny bombs? Or transport capsules made with a mini robot inside? Or deadly hard drives? Or alien eggs? Or maybe the messages needing decoding? Or they're all parts of a bigger whole jigsaw puzzle that need to be put together? The team at Mission Control was against trying to spread further misinformation and propaganda, partially because it would add to the total confusion but mainly because it would endanger the philosophical principles of our mission. We can only trust in our colonists and hope for the best. Alright, so I think we gotta kick uh, Dark Spectrometry. Spectrometry. Let's put... If we do this, it's gonna be done quick. So let's knock it out quick. I'm gonna check on these water tanks. These water systems. Amazingly, they're they're going full beans, but we're very slowly filling them up. Okay, how's our how's our coverage right now? There's a little bit of overlay here, but not a lot. The nice thing is there's two MDSs in range of this fuel supply. An art store. Oh, that should be. Fun. Oh, there you go. We'll drop some polymers in there. You'll be fine. We got people working in the polymers factories. That's awesome. Uh, we got a lot of people. Look at these engineers working in the machine part factory. I like it. What do we have for sp oh no? What do we have for spires? I want to drop a spire down somewhere. I don't have any research. Water reclamation. If I go for a farm dome, would be absolutely needed. 
Okay, where the hell did you guys come from? You're all down there. This is gonna, I think, I have a feeling this is gonna be like the dredgers where they're just gonna start swarming the place and I can't build anything around them. Okay. We got food growing there. We got tons of food here. We have 230 food on the colony, but we are running a massive power complete. deficit right now. We've applied the scientific method in every possible way to no avail. Time to try something else. In a moment of brilliance, or possibly desperation, one of the physicists proposed they should try to crack open one of the structures. The scientists moved the cube matrix inside a non-baryonic shell and proceeded to bombard this a single cube with high energy ions, a process known as sputtering. The results were immediate. The shell of the cube gave in, resulting in its rapid decomposition. The matrix itself reacted to the influence by rearranging itself into a solid structure made of the remaining cubes. Though we have no explanation for the process, at least we have a way to deal with the cube matrices prop popping up everywhere. It appears the exact solution rests on our reason and moderation. Cubes can be stored in special sites or destroyed. So, like, a site like this? Let's see. Oh. The mystery of the black cubes has consumed our colonists completely. The reactions are as numerous as they are varied. The colonists have divided into factions centered around a certain hypothesis about the nature and purpose of the mysterious artifacts. The excitement about the cubes is evident from the schedules of weekly hearings in the colony. Trivial themes such as the quality of the food and the requests for additional scientific funding had completely disappeared, replaced by requests for public publicity for each faction's viewpoint. So far, there are three major camps. The moderate skeptics argue that truth is hardly within our reach and the cubes need to be preserved and stored for further research. The pessimistic ones on, insist on the destruction of the, all the cubes, seeing them as a deliberate threat. Then there are those who hold the firm belief that the cubes are meant to be a gift to humanity from some unknown benevolent entity. They request the cubes to be transported inside the domes and put on display for everyone to see. The new effect is decoration buildings made out of cubes can be constructed. Um, okay, that's great. Funding received. Definitely not a place of worship. Um, how do I store these things? I'd like to have a, them stored outside. That would be fun. All right, looking at this, I think we're going to need another uh, machine or electronics factory soon. So maybe we start working on that. Uh, wait, no, I don't. I don't have the prefab for it. All right. Um, what is our... Wow, maintenance is hefty. Oh. All right, frictionless composites must continue. I, I'm not backing down from that one. I'm not backing down from these three. I'm going to add Electronics Factory to the end of the list. And I'm also going to... I'm actually going to... I'm going to kick Plasma Rocket to the top because we could actually start exporting more and faster. And also, if there's an emergency, we can instantly get it back. All together. I think actually putting that thing to work and sending it away, that might have actually started uh, moving things along. Where is Waste Rock's going to be down here in these last five? All right. We're approaching the 30-minute mark, which means we're... Oh, wait, what? Okay, I'm going to try this once. Sector scanned. Anomaly What's going to happen to you? Oof. Oh, this drone's gonna go do it. Oh, the. Ha ha ha! All right, I just figured that out. All right, I'm not putting these near the dome. I don't know what they do. I could destroy a bunch of them if I wanted to. I'm just going to destroy, like, these ones up here. It's, it's going to be just this set. Let's go dump them. Are they... I didn't hit shift-click. I just hit click-click.
Oh. Oh. Okay, um, so we've moved some cubes. I don't know what I'm doing with them. I think uh, destroying them actually just destroyed them, destroyed them. Oh great, you came back. Alright. Um, I'm going to queue up, to wrap up the episode, I'm actually going to queue up a bunch of uh, wind turbines. So hopefully, actually no, I'm not going to queue up a bunch of wind turbines because once frictionless, uh, oh, oh hi Mark. Milestone achieved. Evaluation, sweet. The mission evaluation is over, but the bright future is just ahead of us. With the spectacular achievements of our mining and export endeavor, there's hardly anyone who believes that the concept of interplanetary commerce is a laughing matter. The ample amounts of rare metals we've sent to Earth will make the money flow toward Mars, and we all know that where money flows, people follow. Not many generations would pass before the space between the blue and red planets fills with a busy traffic of rockets, carrying back and forth shipments and settlers. A toast to that! Mission evaluation objective completed. You have exported 890 rare metals out of the target of 100. Final score, 51,620. And there was much rejoicing. Yay. And we're going to continue with that. We're going to continue exporting because, by God, we have a ton of it. We got 736 there. At some point, we are going to get the, uh... We're going to get the mole hole mine. And... Are you serious? You stupid robot. Just go down there. Leave me alone. It immediately got stuck in the tunnel. Love it. Alright. So we are running out of space for people in the domes. So let's, uh... Let's start putting down some houses. I'm just gonna put down one more for right now. And then this, uh, triangle would be reserved for an electronics factory. We're almost to the point where... We are at that balance mark where I want it to be. So, new domes, maybe in the future. Maybe down here. I'm gonna just queue up a bunch of uh, rare metals in this area and just have a dome that just produces electronics and rare metals. And you know what? Fuck it, we're going there. Yeah, I swore. What up? Could go right there. Not sure how I'm going to connect it to other domes, but oh wait, oh wait, can I build down here? Maybe. Maybe. Alright, we're going to start, I'm going to start planning this area out. Look at this dome. Right there. Sector scanned. I'm going to start with a barrel dome. Right there. But it's not going to have to do it right now. I'll start working on a new site down here. We'll probably put a dome up here and a dome down here like we've done up there. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on my channel daily. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Whether it be Surviving Mars, Command and Conquer, maybe even some Star Realms, or Red Dead Redemption 2. Research complete.